If you ever find yourself in a situation where a child comes up to you and says that they don't feel safe, or they have been abused, or they have been hurt, you have a moral responsibility to make sure, first of all, that they are safe, and second of all, to report this to the authorities as soon as possible. Now let me provide you some context to why I feel like this video needed to be made. Uh, first of all, this is not the video that I was hoping to be making this week. Um, but I saw something on Tumblr, I saw somebody post something on Tumblr, and I decided, for personal reasons, that I could not not make this video. I bring this up because I read the story on Tumblr this morning, right before I went to school, about this girl who was at a My Little Pony convention with her family, and somehow she got separated from her family and stalked uh, by this, this, I guess, older guy, and this older guy then tried to kidnap her and take her up to his room. Now somehow she got away and she made it to the poster's booth and the, peop the poster was like, yeah, you can hide in our booth and we'll protect you. And that's it. Um, then the poster talked about how they, the guy kept coming back to the booth uh, and they scared him away. And all was right in the world. And this post got like 23,000 likes and reblogs. And you know, that's, that's great that we are glorifying heroism, but this was not the right response. Not completely. You don't just protect a child from physical danger by hiding them. You go to the authorities, you go to the people whose job it is to make sure everybody's safe. That means the people who are running the convention. That means the people who run the venue, the security, the police. Because if something like this really does happen, it's not going to affect just this one child chances are there are lots of children and now you know in your heart of hearts that they are in an unsafe environment and so you are obliged to protect them. I take a very strong issue with this. If a child comes to you and says that they're in danger or that they've, put, they've been put in danger, you make sure they're safe and then you go to the authorities, period. You don't ask the child, hey, should I go to the authorities? Do you want me to go to the authorities with you? No, you do it. Even if the child says, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, that's not the child's call to make. You explain to the child that even though they don't want that to happen, you have to take care of other people that might be in similar situations. If it did happen, and if you find something like this to be the case, like let's say you're at VidCon and something like this happens, you need to know to go to the authorities. And if you don't feel comfortable going to the authorities yourself, bring somebody else, but make sure that somebody tells them. This matters to me a lot because I have nine nieces and nephews who I care about deeply and I care about all children very deeply. I have volunteered at schools, I've volunteered with Boys and Girls Club, uh, I volunteer at the local GSA at the high school down the street from me. And these kids, like as an adult, I have a moral obligation to protect them. That is one of the core tenets of our society, is we protect those who cannot protect themselves. Also, uh, one thing that I've thought about talking about before, but it never came up, is while I was in the Navy, I worked as a sexual assault victim advocate, uh, which basically meant that I helped uh, victims and survivors of sexual assault go through the really long, painful process of trying to get taken care of legally, um, physically, psychologically, and so when it comes to things like this, I have very strong feelings, um, and so I just want to make sure that everybody out there knows how to react. So that's what I got. Hey y'all, it's me. Um, quick update. Uh, I recorded this video early today at around 2 o'clock my time, and now it's about 5 hours later. Um, I just wanted to specify that what has been alleged may have happened and it may not have. I don't know. Um, but I don't really think that takes away from the rest of my message. If you see something, say something. Um, that's a big takeaway. Alright guys, back to the video. If you have any questions, by all means, hit me up. Uh, if you have a question that you don't want asked in public, let me know. Or if you don't want it to be associated with you, let me know. Uh, you can ask me anonymously on Tumblr. Or you can ask me on Twitter with a direct message. I will keep your identity secret, I promise. Or send me a direct message on YouTube, and I will gladly answer any questions you have. 
Uh, sorry this, this video is a bit of a downer, but I wanted to put it out there. Alright guys, that's all I got. Take care, stay safe, I love you, and I will see you later.